ever, ever underestimate a mother's love for her child. But I'm not going down for this by myself. No way. Magdalene planned it. Call for you, sir. Ah, thanks. It's not a hard speaking. Beats reality TV, huh? Not by much. Did you know Magdalena Linney well? Not very well. This was sent to you two years after your trial here in prison. Through some administrative fuck-ups, it was lost with some other items and found yesterday. The warden's office called me. Through some contacts I had at the Bureau, I was able to trace this back to Hillingdon through the postal markings in the United Kingdom. Who sent it? I don't know. But this is what I think. Of the seven drownings at the lake in the last ten years, only two bodies were never found. That of the seven-year-old child and Magdalena Lenny. The police said, and the lake authorities confirmed, that just offshore, there can be some treacherous ass undercurrents. Suicide was determined by the coroner in the DA's office. She was quite depressed at the hearing from a murder of her husband. No return address. Why would someone send this to you? I ask for this watercolor in particular. There's something other than money that I want from you. Magdalena. Did you realize she had an insurance policy? Understand. Because she was chairwoman of Aquitaine Motor Coaches, she, like her CEO husband, also had key man insurance. The estate of Magdalena Linney received a total of $25 million. It was never brought up at the trial because her death was never associated with that of her husband, John Linney. I thought that insurance companies don't pay on suicide. Well, the devil, they say, is in the details. In cases involving death or disappearance, when there's an ambiguity with the cause of death or disappearance, the insurance company will side with the insurer. If the body was never found, how can they just determine that she's dead? Well, when the insurance company signed off, that certainly put the last nail in the coffin. In this instance, the primary insurance company paid $5 million, while the reinsurer ponied up $20 million. The monies from the insurance company were put in a special account to keep Aquitaine in operation. And the Aquitaine controller, Narahari Amanath. What's with the extra thick accent? There's always an agenda. Placed to be president and CEO. He, strangely enough, reported an increase in profits of 23% with the introduction of a revolutionary new engine. 
for their fleet of motorhome vehicles. See, the thing is, I have just found some new engines in Germany. 37 miles per gallon. Thing was better than we thought. I believe she planned a suicide to protect the company that her husband and father built. You do realize financially that the Linnies were living on fumes. She was quite perhaps desperate. Hey, you could have come back and see me, right? Let's not forget about Jeanette Lenny.